Greetings everyone, it's Theron Ng. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is Learn English with Spider-Man Far From Home. And this is part 1. Spoilers alert, without further ado, let's jump in. I need your help to sit next to MJ. Seriously? Please. Hey, guys, uh, there's an old lady sitting in front of us wearing a crazy amount of perfume, and it's kind of setting off Peter's allergies. Um, you know, Betty, if you could just switch seats with him, that would He's be... allergic to perfume? Yeah, yeah, because um, it, it, it makes his eyes water, and he can't really... You said Peter has a perfume allergy? Number one, set off. Let's have some context first. Peter Parker is secretly in love with MJ, but he's too shy to tell her his feelings. So Peter, like an ordinary schoolboy, just wants to create opportunities to talk to MJ, and hopefully things will go in his direction. He asks his best friend Nat to help him with his romantic endeavor, and Nat comes up with an idea. He realized that there is a female elder who is wearing heavy perfume and she happens to sit close to Peter. He would then say that Peter has a perfume allergy, meaning that if Peter smells perfume, he feels terribly ill. He would then tell MJ and Betty that the strong perfume is kinda setting off Peter's allergies. He would then ask Betty to switch seats with Peter, so Peter will have more chances to get close to MJ, his crush. Set off is a synonym of start, particularly to start a process or a journey. Allergies are medical conditions that make you feel unwell when you come into contact with something in particular. Some allergies only make you feel slightly uncomfortable like pollen allergies, which only make you sneeze. But some allergies can kill you. Hundreds of people die every year due to nut allergies, and over 3 million Americans are allergic to nuts. So public schools in the Western world usually forbid anyone to bring nuts to school. Set off can also mean to make something more noticeable. A synonym in this sense is to bring out. In the context of food, skilled chefs know how to make certain flavors more noticeable by including certain ingredients in the dish. In the example, the sauce sets off the richness of the chicken. The rich flavor of the chicken is brought out by the sauce. Without the sauce, the rich flavor of the chicken wouldn't have been that obvious. In this sense, the phrasal verb set off can also be used in the context of talking about someone's appearance. The second example is the earring set off the beauty of the model. Having the earring makes the girl exceptionally beautiful. Without the earring, the girl would not look as attractive and glamorous. The second thing I want to share with you is the way Nat makes his seat switching requests. To help Peter get close to his crush, Nat approaches Betty and MJ and asks, if you could just switch seats with him, that would be. Here, Nat uses a sentence structure that allows him to show a polite attitude. In this way, he maximizes his chances of successfully getting Betty to switch seats with Peter. This sentence structure, if you could, that would, consists of two parts. The first part, if you could, is followed by a request. And the second part, that would, is followed by the results. So why does this structure show politeness? 
The key lies in its use of the past tense. Both could and would are past tense for forms. This structure is particularly useful in business English. You never want to make your supervisors, colleagues, or clients upset because you unintentionally use the wrong language. In the scenario below, the manager is texting or sending an email to a client. The manager employs the structure if you could, that would, to make her message sound polite. The message reads, if you could kindly provide the following details that will help us speed up your application. The use of the past tense to soften the tone is applicable in other structures. The boy is having difficulties with his homework and he is asking for help. He asks, can you help me with my homework? Well, this is not a particularly polite way to ask a question. His classmates or friends may probably feel very shocked, upset, or even angry unless his tone is very soft and he is very close to them. It's a lot more appropriate to start the question with could, the past tense of can. In this way, his classmates or friends feel respected and may be more willing to offer help. Start gave you a multi-billion dollar AR tactical intelligence system, and the first thing you do with it is start to blow up your friends. It's clear to me that you were not ready for this. When Fury asked me to come up here and see how you were doing, he just he felt bad about snapping at you. Really? You guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? <laughs> Next, we have AR. In the movie, Nick Fury is not very happy with what Peter Parker does, probably first because Peter does not answer his phone calls. Before Tony Stark dies in Avengers Endgame, he has developed an AR tactical intelligence system which looks like a groovy pair of sunglasses. And Tony has decided to let Spider-Man use it. AR is actually a real-world technology that has entered our lives. It hasn't been widely used though. AR stands for Augmented Reality. It's a kind of technology that enhances the real world by computer-generated information. The most common form is to capture the user's surroundings for cameras on tablets or smartphones and then overlay visuals onto the screens. The AR technology has been used to create games, applications that allow users to see how well a piece of furniture will fit their homes and so on. A similar technology is VR. Short for virtual reality. It's a kind of technology that replaces the real world by computer generated environments. It provides an immersive experience by creating a virtual world and projecting it through VR headsets. In this way, users actually feel like they're inside another world. Number 4 Tactical. Besides being an AR device, what Star has given Spider-Man is also a tactical intelligence system. The word tactical concerns the use of soldiers and military equipment during a battle or war. Yeah, the sunglasses like device Star gave to Spider-Man allows the user to communicate with Star's weapon system and other attacks. An example would be, the US Navy SEALs are tactical units that conduct special operations. The word tactical can also be used in a non-military context, meaning carefully planned in order to achieve something. 
Asking the lead actors to argue on social media was a tactical decision to promote the movie. Their fight on the internet wasn't real. They pretended to fight on social media to generate more media exposure for the movie. Number 5. Snap After Fury gives Peter Parker a hard time, Mysterio finds Peter to see how he is holding up. He says Fury feels bad about snapping at Spider-Man. Snap means to speak in an angry voice. It is roughly synonymous with shout. Snap has many other meanings. A common one is to lose control because he or she cannot take it anymore. Let's look at an example. Her bank called and told her that she had lost all her investments. She snapped and broke everything in her house. She must have purchased some high-risk investment products. After she was told that she lost all her money, she lost control and destroyed things in her house. Number 6. Sarcasm Spider-Man feels surprised when Mysterio says Fury feels bad about snapping at him. Spider-Man asks if that's true, and Mysterio does not give him a direct answer. Pretending to be a superhero from another Earth, he asks if there is something called sarcasm on this Earth. So what does the word sarcasm mean? If you say or do something but you actually mean the opposite, you are expressing sarcasm. So Nick Fury doesn't actually care about Peter's feelings, Mysterio is expressing sarcasm. In the picture, someone is trying to intimidate the guy or make him scared. The guy says, I'm shaking bro, meaning that he's scared. But from his facial expression, we can clearly tell he's not scared at all and is indeed making fun of the guy in front of him. In this way, he's expressing sarcasm. You can also convey sarcasm through your body language. Let's take a look at an example. How sad. She speaks with a strong hint of sarcasm. How you feeling? Uh... I didn't think I was gonna have to save the world this summer. I know that makes me sound like such a jerk, I just... I had this plan with this girl that I really like and... Now it's all ruined. You're not a jerk for wanting a normal life, kid. Number 7. Jerk In the movie, the character of Peter Parker is very much an ordinary, nerdy schoolboy. That makes him very different from other Marvel superheroes who are always ambitious about saving the world. Peter clearly enjoys summer more than fighting bad guys. But being close to superheroes, Peter Parker feels guilty about his hope of wanting a normal life. That's why he describes himself as a jerk. Jerk is a slang term meaning a stupid, selfish, mean person, especially a boy or a man. It is someone who annoys people intentionally, someone who gives troubles to others. It is quite an insulting word, so don't say someone is a jerk face to face. The word jerk can also be a non-slang word. As a verb, it means to move quickly. For example, he jerked his head backwards to see what was going on. Maybe he heard something strange. Number 8. Ruined An important part of Peter Parker's plan is to bring MJ to the Eiffel Tower when they're in Paris. Then at the top of the Eiffel Tower, Peter Parker will give her a black Dahlia necklace and tell her his feelings. But Nick Fury makes his class go to Prague instead of Paris so Peter can fight elementals there. The change in destination makes his plan impossible, and he says it's all ruined. 
The word ruin means to damage something completely. For example, he made a serious mistake. This ruins his chances of getting a promotion. To get promoted, one needs to do things exceptionally well. In a competitive workplace, a big mistake would greatly affect your promotion opportunities. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and share it on social media. I will also appreciate financial support through PayPal or Patreon. My latest updates can be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. See you next time. Bye.